Welcome back. I'm Chris with Dixie Gunworks in Southern Utah. And today we're going to talk a little bit about full auto conversions. There's a lot of speculation and hype on the internet about doing a full auto conversion on your AR. And I am just not happy with it. I don't see the point of doing it. I have some technical background <clears throat> that I have shot a lot of machine guns in my life. I've done a lot of training and things like that, and I've seen a lot of things that shouldn't be happening. And there, you've probably seen a lot of them too on the internet. There's plenty of YouTube videos with quote unquote idiots that are going out and they're fully converting the rifle into a full auto. There's multiple things that I just, I don't understand and don't agree. And let me tell you a couple of them. First off, if you've ever watched somebody try and shoot full auto, most of the firearms that are machine guns these days are uncontrollable. They're very hard to control. When the shooter is shooting, the gun is constantly rising, okay? Natural recoil, when you pull the trigger on any rifle, it goes like this. But when you pull the trigger and you have a bunch of bullets spitting out, this is what most people do. They go straight up in the air or they go backwards or they'll spin into people or they'll spin and do other things. In fact, there was that shooting instructor not too long ago in Arizona. Unfortunately, he ended up passing away from injuries that were sustained from a full auto gun. The person went backwards like this and shot him right through the head. And it's unfortunate that that happened. Again, it's a safety issue when it really comes down to it. The second reason I don't like it is in this magazine right here that I have in my firearm, this is a 30 round magazine. I can put 30 bullets into it and then pull the trigger and they're all gonna be able to empty if I wanted it to. Not out of this one. I don't have any machine guns in my collection to tell you the truth. But this, if this was a machine gun, I'd blow through 30 bullets in probably a second and a half to two seconds. It's gonna just completely empty the gun. What's the point? All you're going to be doing is blowing lead right down range, aiming at something that you're not going to hit anyways. The grouping on a machine gun literally is going to be somewhere in this range at about 20 yards. It's not a very accurate setup. It's not a very easy setup to deal with. And machine guns, they're just, they're unsafe. Again, it goes right back to the safety aspect. You really can't just get around that part of it. You're blowing ammo through it. Your gun is going to work to an extent or it's going to break. If you have another malfunction in some way, shape or form in your firearm, it can really get unsafe in a heartbeat. I have seen firearms that have been brought into my shop that people have done their conversions their own way. They didn't want to admit it, but there's other stuff that was done. And I know one case in specifically that the guy had me replace out his barrel. He had done the conversion in his own way and he had blown up his barrel and luckily his son was the one that was shooting it. He unfortunately made it through that case unscarred and he was thinking how happy he was that he did the conversion, get the new barrel on so he can go do it again. That's why it's unfortunate because what happens the next time? His son walked away from that incident, the next time he might not be so lucky. So again, just don't do it. Safety aspect wise, ammunition, save your money, be safe, stick out there with shooting and enjoy what you do. Again, I'm Chris with DGX. We'll talk to you soon.